All right, so continuing with the head to toe assessment, I'm uh, going to give you a little closer look as we're going through this. So starting at the head, I'm looking for some things. I'm looking for decap BTLS, which of course is deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, penetrations, burns, tenderness, lacerations, and swelling. So I'm going to be looking at those things, or looking for any of those things, and I'm also going to be palpating, feeling for any kind of tick, which is tenderness, instability, and crepitus. Now some special things in the head I want to look for is I want to look for any kind of raccoon eyes. I want to look behind the ears for any kind of uh, battle signs. I want to look in the nose and in the ears for any kind of CSF or blood. And if I didn't notice anything in the airway, I'd also want to look for any kind of missing or vulse teeth. After I've gone through the head, I want to go ahead and move down towards my neck. Uh, so for the neck of the patient, I'm going to go ahead and check uh, for any kind of JVD. I'm looking for tracheal deviation. I'm looking for any stomas, medical alert tags, subcutaneous emphysema. Uh, I also want to feel uh, behind the neck here, feeling for any kind of step-offs, as well as uh, check my gloves to see if there's any kind of blood that I saw. Now, for this part right here, uh, we can also go ahead and put a C-call on the patient now that we've already checked out the patient's neck. Uh, that way, uh, we can go ahead and kind of get the patient moving along a little faster. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and check out the chest. So for the check, uh, chest, I'm also looking for decap BTLS. I'm going to be feeling for tick. I'm going to be palpating the chest, going all the way down. Uh, I'm also looking for any kind of flailed chest. I'm looking for any sucking chest wounds. Uh, and if I see any of those things, of course, I'm going to address it right away. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move down to the abdomen. So for the abdomen, I'm going to go ahead and palpate and look for Dr. Germ. So Dr. Germ, I'm looking for any distension, rigidity, guarding, eviscerations, rebound tenderness, and masses. The next part is going to be the pelvis. I'm going to go ahead and palpate uh, for tick, pushing down and in. I'm also looking for any kind of decap BTLS. Um, <clears throat> I'm also looking for uh, any kind of priapism in males, any kind of genital bleeding, any incontinence, or anything else out of the ordinary. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move down to the lower extremities. So with the lower extremities, I'm going to be uh, looking for decap BTLS. I'm also feeling for tick. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, using offset pressure, feeling for tick on the extremities. I'm going to go ahead and check the feet. Obviously, this patient would be uh, trauma naked in a trauma scenario, uh, so the shoes would be off, of course, too. And for the feet, I'm going to go ahead and check my PMSCs. Now, since the patient's unconscious, I'm not going to be able to get my motor or sensory. So the only thing I'm going to be able to get is going to be my pulse as well as the cap refill. Now, moving back up over here to the arms or the upper extremities, I'm going to be checking for decap BTLS, feeling for tick in the, the upper extremities, using offset pressure, of course, also with the arms. I'm going to check my PMSCs. Once again, only going to be able to get the pulse and the cap refill. Now, uh, after this, this is going to be a time when we want to go ahead and log roll the patient and <clears throat> uh, get the patient uh, onto the backboard. So I'm going to ask for one or more of my assistants to come over here and help me out to log roll the patient. <clears throat> 